Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the various components of a typical virus. That is, we are going to discuss about what are the different components that comprises a typical virus. A virus, it has mostly two important components. Those are the nucleoid, those can be the nucleoid and the capsids. So, nucleoid, they represent the inner genetic material. Whereas the capsids, they are the outermost covering which is enclosing the genetic material which can be DNA or RNA. In some of the viruses, there can be an additional envelope like structure which is covering the proteinaceous structure which we are talking about that it envelops the capsid also. So those are known as an enveloped viruses. These are found in some of the viruses. Now, the typical characteristics of the virus is that they can, they code for very important enzymes for their survival, which are allowed to infect the host organisms. So, these enzymes are used to for infection. So, they can code for some of the enzymes which are important for their survival. Now, let us look into the detailed components. The first component which we are going to talk about is the nucleoid. So, nucleoid, it represents the viral genome. Now, it, this genome as we are talking about is comprised of either DNA or RNA but a very important point is that never both. That means a virus cannot have both DNA and RNA as their genetic material. The viruses which have got DNA as their genetic material are known as deoxyviruses. On the other hand, the viruses which have got RNA as their genetic material, they are known as the riboviruses. Now, this classification has been based on the type of nucleic acids that are present. Now, these type of viruses, they can be again classified into two subtypes based on what type of nucleic acids are present. If DNA is present, they can be present in two forms, double stranded DNA or single stranded DNA. In case of RNA also the similar cases like it can be single stranded RNA or double stranded RNA. Now, this is a typical structure of a virus. You can see the inner reddish shaded structure is the genetic material. Outside is, is the bluish covering which is the capsid. It is a protein subunit uh, members which we are going to discuss. This is the covering, proteinaceous covering. And in some of the viruses, there is an additional protective structure which is known as the envelope. Now, let us look into the capsid. So, capsid, this is the proteinaceous covering which is enclosing the genetic material which is either DNA or RNA. Now, these are made up of very small subunits of proteins which has been given a term which are known as the capsomeres or they can be known as capsomers. So, they can be known by other two names capsomers or capsomeres. So, these are the proteinaceous subunits which is actually enclosing the genetic material of the virus. In some of the animal viruses, there can be a presence of a loose membrane covering like it, act, it can act as an envelope. And some of the virus which lack this type of envelope, these viruses have been given a terminology which are known as, they are known as the naked viruses. So, here you can see the enveloped virus, this is an example of an enveloped virus. So, if this envelope is not present, they will be called as the naked virus. So, in this video, we have discussed about the various components of the viruses. So, I hope you have liked this video. Thank you.